Hey guys, what's going on? Today I have a Razer Snaps tutorial video for you guys. Often on my channel, when I release a brand new Razer Chroma profile, I'll get asked by viewers if I can make a blue version or a red version or some other color version of the profile I've just created. Well, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you guys and giving you guys the tools that you can use to change the color of any Razer Chroma profile that's ever made. Before I get into the tutorial, Please, if you guys find this video helpful, it would help me out a ton if you guys would like this video. Also, if you like Razor Chroma profiles, be sure to hit that subscribe and bell icon so that you guys don't miss out on future Razor keyboard lighting designs. With that said, let's get into the tutorial and change up a profile for our needs. Hey, Joe. All right, for this color changing tutorial, I'm going to be changing my Halloween lines profile into a Christmas lines profile. So I'm going to be changing it from an orange and purple theme to a green and red theme. So I'm already assuming that you guys have imported a design and you are ready to start changing the color of that design. If you have not imported a design or have not found a design, I will put a link to a video that I made on how to import Razor Chroma profiles. It's also got some good tips on where you can go to find other Razor Chroma profiles, so check that out. But each design is made up of effect layers that you can see over here on the left side. This specific design has five, but depending on what design you are changing around, you could see a lot more or even less than this. And we're just gonna go through these layers one by one starting from the bottom. So I'm gonna select this wheel layer and what we're looking for within each effect layer is a green highlighted lighting zone. So I'm just gonna scroll wheel out and look at all my other devices here and I actually don't see any lighting zones on my devices that are highlighted green, which means that this effect layer was made for a device that is currently not connected to my Razer Synapse software. It's okay if you see this, just ignore it and move on to the next layer. So with this lines layer, you can see I do have some green highlighted zones. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on one of the lighted zones. And you can see that it selected all of the lighting zones for this layer that have the same detail properties over here on the right side. So with these lighting zones selected, we're going to come over here to the right side of our Synapse window, and we're just gonna select the color gradient under color. And here's where you go and change your color on these color nodes. So I can see that there's some orange and purple nodes in here, and even a dark purple node. Throughout this profile, I'm gonna change all of the orange color nodes to green and all of the purple color nodes to red. So with this first orange one selected, you can see it's all the way up on the brightness. I'm just going to change this color node to green. I'm just gonna select my green color down here and then I'm gonna move on to my next node. So clicking on this purple node, you can see it's just a normal purple color with the brightness all the way up. So I'm going to choose red. I'm gonna click on this third node here and you can see this is a purple node, but the brightness is dragged way down here. So I'm going to just choose red, just like I would on any other purple node, but I'm gonna drag my brightness down to kind of match what this was doing. I'm gonna to go to my next node, which is purple, and I'm gonna change that to red, and I'm gonna to go to my last orange node here and I'm just going to change this to green. The nodes on the end are invisible and I'm going to keep them that way. So that looks good so far but as you can see there's still lighting zones that have an effect on them that we need to change inside this effect layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the lighting zones that are not selected. Double click on that and that's going to select the other set of lighting zones within this layer. So I'm gonna do the same thing, click on my color dropdown and swap the orange and purple to green and red. All right, so I swapped those. Now on my mouse pad, I still have some orange and purple going on. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. Double click on any of these lighting zones and do the same thing, swap the colors. All right, I got that swapped. So I'm gonna double click on these, this other one here and just swap these ones as well. So that takes care of all of the lighting zones on this effect layer. So I'm gonna move on to my ripple layer. And once again, I'm gonna double click on a lighting zone. It looks like every other key is set to green, which that looks pretty good for me. Maybe I'm gonna change my ripple on this to white and I'm gonna click on the other set that is not selected. Double click on those and I'm gonna change this to white as well. That looks good. Now I'm gonna click on my audio meter. I'm gonna double click on this layer and here you can see that there is a dark purple and a light purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the purple to red. This darker node right here, I'm going to make it red and then drag it dark just like it was. Make this purple node red. Now I'm going to double click on the next layer up here and it selected that row. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change my orange to green. So click on green, drag the brightness where the orange was. Click on the lighter color node and we're gonna make that green. Select the next row up, click on this color drop down. We're gonna go dark red and red. That looks good. Select more layers. This is selecting the next row up. Click on your color drop down, change orange to green. Good. Double click on the next row up, click your color drop down. We're gonna go red, make it dark, and red. Double click on the next row up, click our color drop down. We're gonna go green, make it dark, make that lighter color orange green. And finally, the last layer we have here is a wheel layer, and we're gonna click on that. And as you can see, nothing on my keyboard or my mouse pad have a lighting zone with that effect on it. But that is all it takes to change the color of a Razor Chroma profile. Thank you guys so much for watching this video tutorial. I really hope that you guys found it helpful for you. If you guys do run into any issues, you can always contact me on my Discord channel. Link will be in the description for that. Do me a huge favor. If you guys used this tutorial to change up a design for you, please leave a comment down below and let me know what profile you changed up and what colors you used and if the guide helped you guys out. But that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see See you guys at my next video.